Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We've got live tournament action coming at you. It is the very first game of the very first Alt Starcrafts Alt Gauntlet. Wendy joining me here on the line. He is my good friend and my co-caster for the evening. We always kick it, don't we, Wendy? Always, man. Always, always, always. And here we go. First game of the evening, it will be our own Bales, recently picked up from Team Impulse, versus the Root we win, who is actually Root Cats. A great honor to have him here. This will be the Alt Starcraft, the Gauntlet. It is pretty much, it goes like this, it is a best of five show match between a pro player and Team Alt's uh, five best players that we pick for that show match, and tonight it happens to be Bales, Elijah, Sonic, Webs, and Bonk. And we had the pleasure of starting off with Bale, so why don't you introduce the position snack, because you're well, so good at that. We are on Metropolis here. Quite a nice map. It does force, a, you know, across the map positions, if you will. They cannot spawn in those close positions. And we're going to have Root Cats spawning as our yellow Zerg. He's kicking it up here at the 3 o'clock position. In cross map positions, we do find Bales. He is green. He is Protoss. He is going to be kicking it over here at the 9 o'clock. So... Cross positions here, I like that on this map, and I think this is a pretty nice starting map. Okay. You know, I have to agree. Metropolis is a good, solid map. It kind of almost... I, I liken it to a better um, Metalopolis, uh, hence the similar name probably even. It's a little bit easier for Protoss to get off that Forge Fast Expand. As you can see, that Bales is going to do that. Throwing down the Forge on 13, so playing an extra save. Cat's known for being a little bit uh, of a more of a wild card player. Can throw in, you know, not cheeses or all-ins, but just some kind of unique play style, so... I'm sure everybody's well aware of that by this point, but it looks like he's going for hatch first, not going to throw down that pool, and he will get that hatch down. Uh, looks like Bales is not going to try and block it. So 15 hatch out of Cats here, and you know what? He probably followed up with just a, a, you know, a 15 pool after this, and I would be surprised to see ca uh, gas from him. Yeah, I agree. A smart play there. I mean, the, you got to remember that this map is humongous. Very, very long rush distance here, especially in this cross position. And, uh, you know, taking that hatch first is not really that much of a trouble, especially if his opponent's going for a Forge Fast Expand, which he does get the scout out here. So he's going to be just fine in this economic play here early on. And uh, we'll see how this is going to go. But there goes the Nexus here. Four Bales. Probably going to see him put down that cannon here in just a moment. Yep, and it looks like Bales is actually going to try and block the third hatch from Cats. He's actually going for ha third hatch before ever getting a pool. This is super risky. He actually gets it down. If Bales does not, if Bales acknowledges that that pool isn't done though, he could easily cannon rush him, very very easily. It's a very big exploit. Kind of taking a uh, you know for granted the fact that his opponent has not um, noticed the fact that he that doesn't have a pool, and you can even see him seeing a drone over there to make sure that no pawns have gone down. Yeah, so. Yeah, but uh, I would have to say that's what Cat's playstyle is. He is playing a little bit risky, and you can see Bale's just hiding his pilot. There's a probe up in the corner over there. Gateway has gone down. Cannon will follow shortly, uh, and double gas has been taken. And still, the pool is about halfway done for Cat's, and his hatch is done right. That's that is going to give him a huge economic lead early on. Yeah, it's true. Now, is Bale's going to try and punish him for that though? We'll see. I mean, it just comes down to the timings here. When is Root? Cats going to start going into his uh, defensive production here, and that that's going to be the key. But that uh, that third base will be completed here in just a moment here before the five minute mark for sure, and that is just crazy fast here, Wendy. Yeah, it really is. It's a very risky play, and I do see some Zerg players taking the risk to do it. I mean, this is the opening game, so you do kind of have a he has a lot of room to play with before uh, the series gets closed out for a winner. But uh, you know, I have to say that. Doing this kind of play on Metropolis, probably not the best choice. I would probably prefer it on something like Daybreak, maybe Cloud Kingdom, because that third is blocked off. The Protoss comes in, Force Fields off this main, uh, and then just goes right for the third. And I've seen it happen more more than once, where the sentries get, you know, can catch the Zerg army retained in the space, and just Force Field off between that destructible debris, and just go snipe the third. Because those rocks, even with fast lanes, take a long, long time to knock down. Yeah, that's really true. The third does make itself pr pretty vulnerable here in the early game. And still only six minutes in right now. Uh, we'll see if when when Bales is going to choose to start putting down those extra gates. He does have a few moments before his warp gate technology will be complete. But notice that he's chrono boosting the daylights out of that. We're going to probably see him continue chronos there. Yep, there he goes. And he is going to send out his first couple zealots. Looks like just two for the time being. And another thing, interestingly enough, is he's chrono boosting out ground weapons level one here, Wendy. That's pretty standard, I have to say, all in all, but these two just two zealots going out pretty early with a third rally to it, and you can obviously tell he wants to put on some pressure. Uh, two additional gateways going down relatively quickly. If I had to say it, given the fact he only has uh, he only originally had two probes in each gas geyser, uh, getting a little bit of extra mineral income, it's to say it's probably a three-gate pressure into a pretty quick third base. Right. 
Now, Kat's uh, going to be sending some overlords here and there in different places. Notice that he does have that overlord on that one side of the third there, checking for that pylon, which is so popular for people to put that there. Bales is indeed going for the pylon there, gearing up for some war pins on the low ground next to the third, but obviously... Uh, cats will definitely see that. Here come those first two zealots, Wendy. Do you think these guys are going to get the damage done necessary to make this worth it? You know, you know it's hard to say, but it's, look at Bales' his timing. Lining up so perfectly. Has the ground level open, finishing up. His two gateways finishing up. Once that power will be able to warp in three zealots. One drone goes down. There goes down number two. What does Cats have on the way? Rotor is not even finished. Does he have anything complete? No. Bring over Queens. The long trek from the... From the natural, two queens right there, and I, this third hatch is going to go down, no question about it. There's six yeah. zealots now. Uh, uh, now, the, here's the interesting thing is, are we going to see Bales continue this pressure and try and move into, this, into the second base? That could be uh, fairly detrimental to, to Cats at this point. He doesn't really have the defenses necessary. He's going to depend on queens right now. To make that yeah, it's, happen. Oh, everybody has roaches. His I take that back. Yeah. Roaches. He has roaches, but a lot of them are actually getting taken down as they pop out of the as their eggs. And you can see there's three of them right down there. Now, one single zealot has been lost. Maybe the first one will go down right now. There it does go down. Uh, zealots, coincidentally, even though the zealots are hard countered by roaches, do beat them one on one. Right. Interestingly enough, and I think these zealots will be cleaned up, but huge pickup for Bales. However, I do have to note that since Katz went for that hatch before that third hatch before ever getting a pool, he's already at 50 drones up to 53 now before the 8 minute mark. And that's pretty significant to know. Usually right about 8.30, 8.45, you're going to hit that uh, critical drone number for two bases, and that's when you defend that normal uh, Protoss 9-minute, nine, nine 30-second push that they usually do. But Bale's still on two gates, has a robot robotics facility that, excuse me, robotics facility down, currently boosting out an observer with another immortal behind it. So he'll be pretty um, pretty good shape to defend any against any roach play, and there goes the third being reclaimed by Cats. All in all, it was a pretty good trade for Bales, coming out ahead for sure. Alright, and Bales now putting down a Twilight Council, and he's starting Blink like that. Going to be some Chrono down on that sucker here for just a little while. Notice that Cats did cruise through, get a little bit of scouting intel there, and it looks like Bales cleared that Overlord out, as well as now the new from Lightning Pope. Yeah, but, oh, interestingly enough, Bales doesn't, uh, excuse me, Katz does not know about the Twilight Council, and he may or may not know about the robotics facility. Right. So he really has no idea what Bales has in terms of text. Two additional gateways going down. Now the question here, does Bales go for a one, uh, two base play, or does he just take a third? There goes down a third gateway, so we're up to six gateways total. There's a seven, so it will be a two base timing attack with, it looks like, a plus two. Uh, two immortals already on the field. Any more being kind of boosted out? Yes, a third one is on the way. Looks like for uh, Root Cats, we do have 65 drones, but only 13 roaches. Getting a ton of upgrades, though. Path to Glands going down from the Fester, as well as Burrow, and plus one melee, plus one carapace, and uh, Zergling Speed finishing up just now as well. But the only question is, I mean, has this third base been del delayed long enough by killing it off so early with all those extra drones? They really had nowhere to go to mine. Uh, will, you know, will Cats be able to rally forth? He, he is at 63 drones, so he's approaching that critical 75 drone number. Uh, but no road speed has actually forgotten road speed, which is, I think, a huge mistake. Right. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have that. Bales did reveal his probe there up at the north side there for just a few moments. We'll see if uh, Katz noticed that. He could. He does have a small window here where he can come in and take out this pylon. There is a pylon here being placed right underneath an overlord, so it looks like uh, Katz should notice that. He is coming up here to clean this out. That's an unfortunate problem here for Bales, so he would have been just fine if he'd left the initial. But uh, this one is going to get taken out now. Yeah, but here comes the army from Bales. They are getting close in range, but I think the pylon will go down. Will the second one go down? The second one's already gone, so there's no pylon, but there is another probe here, so he'll be able to... And he's actually trapped the roaches up top, and there's an observer there. This is a really good position wow. for Bales here, but there, he has switched over to just his Ling and Fester. He does have 11 more roaches coming forth, but don't forget, they do not have speed, so this is actually might be a critical situation for Cass, if he's not able to get the adequate surround, Roaches with speed make a world of a difference. A good number of Immortals in this, actually able to pick the hatchery before it was even cancelled. And I think Cass is definitely on the ropes here. Bales may have actually found a, p a point to take out uh, Root Cass. I'm really surprised. Yeah, there's a lot uh, I'm not of saying games, that Bales though. isn't a good player, but... Right. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of Roaches here and a lot of Lings. A couple, three Spine Crawlers and some Infestors. Now, here it is, crunch time for Cass. He's got to make this happen, but he's engaging with too small of a force there, I think, on the ramp. And look at the force fields once again, Wendy. That's Bales moving down into the third here. I don't think Caps can afford to lose this base. No, he really cannot. And what's more important here is actually zoned out the infestors. Not that many fungals went down, even though they held 
Uh, the stalker's in place for a little bit. There's three immortals remain, so that will take quick ro quick work of the roaches. And this third will go down a second time. Now the question: Does Roots have anything to back it up in terms of larva? He's only he's actually down to 50 less than 50 drones, expending all his larva on 48 more zerglings. Uh, there are no sentries left in this composition though. So if if Cass is going to be able to win, it will be with his next attack. It's just a matter of can you know can Bales break up the units? He'll need Zealous to take care of these links for sure. Without Without any force, it was very difficult and so smart. Working into the high ground, we'll be able to do more economic damage if necessary to prevent the Zerg from uh, being able to remax very quickly. Still blink available. Still two immortals left in this mix, and there are some more infestors uh, with a good amount of fungals left. I think about four fungals in total. But now four zealous in the main, gonna go to work on the middle line, taking out the queen. Any economic damage done to root, root cast at this point is very detrimental. Pushing forward, picks off Cypher Infestor with the fungal left, which is always good. Targeting right, right infestors. Now, coming forward, there's still a ton of stalkers left. Blink micro working so well. Knack, uh-oh, but Knack, wow. all those stalkers way down in the red. There's yeah. 20, 20 HP left on each one, but is it enough? I don't know. It's it's getting really iffy. You can see Cat's having some trouble keep, keeping track of those reinforcements and does have to give the GG. GG, well played. First game going to all, I do have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah, I was Bales really impressed is the Bales. real deal.